<laughs> I'm kind of nervous for ourselves and our sanity. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Welcome back to Barstool Outdoors. Today is an exciting day. We're changing things up. I'm in Waco, <laughs> Texas with my friend Aiden, who's to my left. Uh, he also goes by what? Texas Hog Dude? Well, that's Instagram. Ah, so Texas Hog Dude. Yeah. You, can go, you can go follow him. TX Hog Dude, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing a little bit of a redneck range day. We have different kinds of air guns. They're Umarex air guns, different calibers, different kind of setups that we're going to be shooting at. We got like watermelons, lifesavers, things that are going to go boom. It's going to be fun. We're going to try out different calibers just to kind of see like the impact, the precision. Shooting guns is a lot of fun. I love to hunt, so it's weird not being hunting while in Texas, but it's going to be fun to do a little range day, check out these different air guns, yeah. see how they shoot, see how I can shoot, maybe get a little competitive because I know you're competitive. I'm competitive. So we're going to get into it. This is exciting. So we got a redneck range. We'll go shoot. Look at that way really quick. You can barely see it. We have <laughs> a some... track hurdle. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is right in front of us, go ahead and hold it up, Aiden. We have a 22, which is called the Complete. Uh, this just got announced that this is out. The cool thing about this is it's just like new innovation. It's crazy the innovation that happens in our industry every year. Umarex has made something crazy. Talk about it a little bit. So this this is actually a high pressure cylinder here. A lot of you guys see, remember like the old CO2. This is not CO2, this is high pressure nitrogen. Holds 3,600 PSI in here. So all of you that wanted to get into to shooting PCP, which is pre-charged pneumatics, now you can just buy it and it comes in a bottle. So, so explain could, that, like dumb it down a little bit. If you've never even shot a, an air gun before, you either have to you have to put air in the gun somehow. So you either have to cock the gun either by one time then with a brake barrel, or you pump it up ten times like the old Crossman 760. But in the, the pre-charged pneumatics, you normally hook up to an air tank. When you plug into it, it charges up the tank, and then you can just change the magazines, keep shooting the gun until it gets low on air, and then refill it one time. So you don't have to do that. What we did is essentially take that so you don't have to have an air pump or an air tank. You can actually just use the nitro air that we have built for the complete. It's convenient. It's, it's very convenient. It's very convenient. And our price tag is under 200 bucks for the thing. Yeah. There's nobody else that's got it out there. We got a patent pending on the ball itself and, uh, and also when it comes down to some parts that are inside the gun to be able to use this thing. So if you're just wanting to get into this and you go, hey, this is cool, I want to get into it, this is the gun to get into. And it's got a, a magazine with it, a 10 round magazine. So you put 10 pellets in there, shoot, cock it, shoot, cock it. No more pumping, none of that and stuff. And if you've seen me shoot before, you, I always use the brimstone. What does it say? Shoots like heaven, hits like hell. Yes, they got it right. These are for your 22 cows. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little competition. We have some lifesavers that are hung by tape and we're gonna try to shoot right through the middle of it. These are actually a good diameter. They go, they can go through it. You got to put it perfectly through it. Though. Don't think that's gonna happen. If we even hit it, I'm gonna be happy. But that's our first challenge with this 22 lifesavers. Then we're gonna try to shoot the tip off a cube tip. Gonna get a little competition going. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it worked out. See who can uh, be the better shooter. I'd like to see, like, if we have people that are viewers out there, I'd like to see them if they can shoot through the center. They could video that shoot through, shoot through the center of a of a lifesaver. Yeah, it's that's kind of like a, it's that's kind a, like a little challenge. It's a challenge. That's a for you that's guys. a hard one to do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Definitely my favorite now. All right. Yee! First one down. I don't think I made it through the center. I think even if I tick the center, it's just gonna be. Well, that's the, that's out. the trick there is to be able to if you can punch it through the center. Ooh, number two down. got it we'll, we'll, we'll know when we get the slow-mo back from the video there uh-oh I think I'm getting close I'm not taking the tops off so I'm not wait gonna... what'd you do there though that one has just a top left I don't want to smoke steady that one was blown out there for sure Dude, the power of these pellets, it's like they don't stand a chance. Okay, well, that was fun. The nitrogen uh, cartridge has 45 shots. So you get 45 shots at it. We definitely probably shot it like 45, 50 times. I'm sighting it in. So we're practicing. probably closer to the 50. I have happy trigger. I can't sit there because I have ADHD. I need to just shoot it. It's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, Smoke City, it's pretty dang accurate. Okay, I just smoked the side off. Oh, it. there's a lead. 
that's a little lead scraping there. That one's getting pretty, that one was close. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. A squirrel doesn't last a chance. Their head's definitely bigger than a, than a lifesaver. <laughs> Should you see if we I keep we... I keep thinking I'm saying like light light lightsaber. It's like Star <laughs> Wars. <laughs> Pull these off, go new version. Oh. Where were you? I didn't see where it hit. Miss. It's a miss. Miss. I'm not even getting the first one here. You, did you, were you aiming at the second one? Yes. <laughs> Dude, you smoked the cotton. I got it. Took the cotton top right off. Bye! <laughs> Dude, did you see the cotton explode? Yeah. That one's a little... Oh, oh, I was... nicked it. Did you? Yeah. Nickage? Nicked it. All right, well, I got two and five. Okay. All right, we ready? Okay, yep, bolt forward when you're ready. Okay, safety is on. We're going to go... Pull it forward. Man, that one was the money shot. Let's Clean the top fix right this, off. This but... because you're kind of blind. Oh, I barely missed it. Did you see where it went? Yes. All right, so now you now you're on. Ooh, I you nicked, nicked it. it. You nicked it. Oh, now you got it. That one hit just had high, huh? I don't really know. It was just over it. Oh, that one was to the left. Okay, I need to stop. We're gonna do the new the new Firebird targets. Low noise, reactive targets for marksmanship, shooting in sound sensitive environments. All right. It'll make will it, will it hurt anybody? Yeah, I mean, if you don't wanna be standing there holding it. Oh, what about shooting. throw it against the wall? No, it won't do that. You gotta set it off with a gun. We got a random piece of scrap metal here. So we're gonna take this and then we're gonna tie it up with some string. And we also found in just the shop. Yeah, we just go through Will's shop here and we'll take this, set this up. Little sticker on the back, you find a place, place it on there. Oh, wait, that's fun. And here we go, everybody say a prayer. What'd you think of that? That, <laughs> that was sick. That's pretty cool. Isn't I it? think we're. I think the safe distance, yeah. in my opinion, would probably be like I don't know. I'm not much. I'm not a professional. Maybe 20 yards. <laughs> that was almost like a bigger boom. I feel like. So that means you hit within that little teeny circle. Both of those pellets hit at that. All right, let's blow something up. All right. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous for ourselves and our sanity. That 30 cal is gonna do damage. And that 50 cal. The 30 cal will probably pierce this metal. Next up, the gauntlet 30 caliber. We're going up a caliber, which is, means a bigger point of impact. We got a bigger pellet. Explain the gauntlet a little bit, Iden. So this is the gauntlet 30, and then this is the gauntlet side lever. So by popular request, everybody says, hey, We'd like a side lever on this thing. So Umarek says, well, we'll listen to you. And they did it. So this is actually the gun that I shoot in competition. Why do you like a side lever? Side lever is just faster to move than it is. Like if you're bolt action, you got to put your thumb behind it. Mm -hmm. Do some other things. You're pulling. There's more of an arm action as opposed to this is just like a flip of the wrist. We're shooting a two liter down here. And I put a bio 65 on there. So, you know, we want it to be as fun as possible. And let's uh, shoot pop, some pop. stuff. All right. Let's send it down range. I don't know if there's anything left with that, but <laughs> there should be no coke left. All right, I think that does it for the explosives for today. Well, that's the Firebird target, so. <laughs> Our neighbors are definitely calling 911. Yes, there's going to be some stuff going on. No, we, we told them actually, so I think we should be good. We well, let's go check it out. Tell, there shouldn't be. Did any... we tell the, the the neighbors in the next county? We told them across the river. Oh, okay, perfect. Everywhere. Did we post so, it on Facebook? Let's go, let's go check it out and see what's left of this. I literally, I jumped. Did you see me jump? <gasps> that was sick. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got nothing left of her. We got no, we got nothing left of her. We got left of her. You know what? You know what it is? You know what time it is now? Fifty cal time. It's fifty cal time. Shooting melons. We got the boom boom stuff done. We got two melons. I think we got we disturbed enough in the area here that we'll be good. So let's go grab our melons. Let's go grab some melons. 
Another fun fact about me that a lot of people probably don't know. So I went and got some uh, some tape. This is some packaging tape. I, for a long time, not for a long time, probably six months after college, I graduated as a nurse. Didn't end up practicing as a nurse because my dad's like, why would you do that? Let's let's hunt. Let's go hunt and travel. I'm like, sweet. So I worked in the slock master department for six months packaging up blowguns. So that was my job if we weren't hunting and filming. I was in the packaging room taking orders, customer service, and uh, packing up blowguns. So uh, I knew packaging tape would be very sturdy. All right, prop that up and help me, Jack. I'll hold it, hold it low. This is <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Wow, she does know how to pack some stuff. Told you. That's some big brain right there. Packaging experience from slockmaster.com. Big old B. Next up, 50 cal. We got a watermelon looking like a swaddle out there, like a little baby. I'm a little nervous. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah! Ha! Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, brother! Safety's on! So what do you think? This thing's got some jump to it, huh? Back and got power. Um, power and jump, but not too much. You're right, you're just gonna kind of tug that in your shoulder and just brace yourself. I didn't and I had fun. Shout out to Umarex. Shout out to Shady Rays. I just dropped them. Hopefully I didn't break them. Yep, there they are. Keeping my eyeballs safe and uh, keeping my eyesight good. Uh, yeah, Umarex, man. That was, that was so much fun. I love shooting my Umarex We just keep guns. making it better. It was fun. And honestly, just blowing stuff up. Wow! You got the complete. You got the 30 cal side lever, which everyone was asking for. They also make that in the 25. And then we got the hammer carbine, which everyone's looking at. We yep. never stop innovating. And we make, we create everything. We go, what does the market need? What did I want when I was five? Well, let's just make an adult version of that, so. I think what I'm gonna do next time is we're gonna do another range day, because I actually really, really love shooting guns, because I haven't done that a whole lot. And maybe bring a subscriber along with us, because hey, why not? It's it would be fun. fun. Let's do it. It would be fun. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time at Barcelona Outdoors. Bye!